activism can be very hard. Activism can be a lot of work, but it takes love and grace to continue to speak, to continue to demand for justice. The first thing I'd like to ask you is just um, your assessment of the past year, really. Um, what went well in terms of the work that you've been doing and what did not go quite so well and why? There was this climate conference, you know, the COP26. It was uh, a moment that had to give all of us hope for the future a moment where we expected the leaders to rise up for the people, to rise up for the planet. And what I can say is that it was disappointing, you know, to see a climate tracker show us that we are on a pathway of 2.4 degrees, which is a global devastation for so many communities which is a death sentence for so many communities on the front lines of the climate crisis. You know, many times activists from Africa have been called missing voices, but we are not missing, we are actually speaking. We are present, we are available, we are just and heard. We are not platformed and we are not amplified. Is there anyone you would specifically want to call out and, and hope that in the next year they did something? The people that we need, you know, drastic action from, these are the leaders in government. These are the leaders in business. Because these are the people who are continuing to fund you know, the extraction of fossil fuels. We need a system change, a system change that will start from the leadership in government, a system change that will start from the leadership in business, so that everything, you know, decisions or um, actions that are taken by governments or business leaders. They ensure that the people and the planet are protected.